this will be a good finish for Ireland. If they can perform in this last 10 minutes, they can go into their next match with plenty of confidence. Certainly a very athletic performance from the Irish. Five minutes to go. The Irish on the attack once again. That was Jonathan Bell. Superb player. He's come on as a substitute. Here there's numbers. Elwood. Look who's on the right. Over the top. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Oh, my goodness. Ladenstown Road. It's liftoff. Keith Wood has scored four tries, and I don't believe it. I just wonder if that is some sort of record. I'd say it's definitely a record for a number two. The crowd is going berserk. He's a local hero. There were contractual problems a couple of years ago to get him back from Harlequins. He's back home in preparation for the World Cup. And look who happens to be on the right wing, chasing the little chip kick. That man. I think the way he's probably feeling at the moment, you could put him in any position on the park and he'd play brilliantly. And they've taken him off, I think. Yes, they've taken him off. Catlin said enough is enough. <laughs> this is getting beyond a joke. Well, we mustn't forget that it wasn't a, a brilliant first half from Ireland. It was scrappy in parts. But they've satisfied the requirement of putting three points in the league table, and that's going to be very important. And the more points they can get, if it ever did come down to points difference in terms of uh, the playoff situation later on in this World Cup, well, they've done a pretty good job. Now, can Eric Elwood make it three out of three since he came on a substitute? Yes, he can. Oh, I spoke too soon. Great kicking, though, nonetheless, in the wind from the sideline. Well, let's just have a look at this again. Elwood, the master of the chip. And the hooker, if it's not a world record, it doesn't matter. It is one of the greatest try-scoring performances ever by a number two.